and then he finished and he stabbed himself to death <laughs> on stage. And wow, it wow. is that that is the right response because it is a killer bit, like a killer get out on Sorry top. For the mess. I'm fucking done. Hit the subscribe button. Yeah, yeah, that's, well, that's it. Yeah, that's How's that going? Uh, terrible. Not good. No, yeah, yeah, not good at all. I'm <laughs> uh, I'm jacked up. Everything now is out of my hand for this week. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm going out and promoting the special. I've spent all my money and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. And now it's just like, we'll see. Right. right, right <laughs> we'll right. see. This could go well. Yeah. Could be a cat catastrophe. Oh, and as a f Irish fatalist, oh, that's yeah. not like necessarily <laughs> no, I, I, the best I'm place like, to be. This is my Cannon's funeral. This is the last time you hear from him. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to go terribly because <laughs> yeah. we are just Irish pricks who always expect the worst. Yeah, dude. I mean, I, 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 I spent never... all of it on it. We'll see. You know, it's either now, when this goes good that, or my son doesn't eat and we'll see which dies first when you say you spent <laughs> which dies first. <laughs> <laughs> when you say that are we talking like you you emptied out the savings like no no i'm, I'm good sure, i'm good yeah, but, but i like, but spent a lot right a you substantial know. amount of money and i'm happy to do it because i i can't make concessions mm -hmm. like i'm not the type of person that could just be like oh i'll cut that bit yeah, yeah you're right, right. <laughs> you right. know what i mean no. it's just see i am you uh, are. Oh, like, I, you're offering money I'll say whatever you want me to say then. Well, like, that's also do you from me. I've never special? been offered money, so <laughs> <laughs> who knows what I would do. Oh, oh, oh. I will do anything yeah. for money. I'll suck, I'll fuck, I'll sell my soul. I, yeah. I wasn't that kid growing up, the kid who put like uh, mashed potatoes into chocolate milk and then drank it, but like <laughs> I've become that kid yeah. as an adult. You know what? Yeah. We I'll do said, whatever for and, money. And maybe this is a good question for you since you, you have a son. We uh, Recently, I think we had a question from a, a viewer or something along the lines of like, Give give one piece of advice to your to your kid right now. That's not like something corny and whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I and I think either I said or some of somebody said, don't be the kid who does weird shit for money. Oh, that's such a great thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I I was like, let other people do yeah. it because you don't want to be the guy eating you know like a piece of goose shit for five dollars, which is something like I absolutely know of somebody who did that. Yeah, but, I've done it once. I've been that kid once, and do? it made it, it was it. Uh, I played football one year. I played football my senior year of high school. It was that's the weird. most. Did you play one, one year? I had, yeah. an, I had an alcoholic <laughs> soccer coach, and I was really good at soccer. <laughs> Started on varsity, was like the third leading scorer behind seniors. My junior year, where like colleges were actually starting to write introductory letters and shit, yeah. I get inexplicably benched. I'm just done for no the way. entire year. I mean, granted, I didn't have the best attitude, but it was just, <laughs> it was just one. And I was playing Gaelic football at the time, so I constantly was getting yellow cards, sometimes red cards. Like I was just being an asshole. Yeah. But my coach also didn't. He was a math teacher. He was just you know getting the extra five grand per sure. year to sure. do this he had no idea what soccer was or anything yeah. so he just benched me instead of talking to me or inspiring me or connecting with me whatsoever yeah. yeah but also i feel that for you know sure I mean? yeah like, no looking like the, back the coaches who do like really if you're like a top-notch program it's one thing yeah at pelham high school i'm not expecting someone to be like i need to mold you as a man i'm expecting <laughs> to be like i don't know man you fucking stunk that at your bench like, yeah whatever. but also like it is crazy when you think about that there really isn't anyone who is, you know, better. There's no one chomping at the bit for the job. Yeah. But it is crazy when you think, like, that dude, you said they were college writing introductory letters. Like, that dude had his, like, complete power over Affected your whole life. You yeah. entering hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt. Yeah. Maybe yeah. getting, like, a scholarship to a D3 Frex, school. Thanks, coach. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> you son of a but wait, basketball was your thing overall. Basketball that, right? was my thing. Yeah, I was better at basketball, and I ended up playing junior college basketball. But soccer, I kind of, I may have had more of a future in because I was just built, built that better. Way. I was like, yeah, I was, you're, yeah, you're, I was, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I, was, I was a little stronger than, than some of the other guys. I played right. Gaelic football, so I was super Body physical. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it was just all that. But then I was like, fuck this. I'm playing football. I'll be with my friends. I was going to be the kicker only. I ended up starting defensive back. <laughs> it, it. it was great because I, yeah. ba I played basketball, so I could D up on somebody. And yeah. uh, then I, at camp during three a days, which was like the most homosexually erotic experience <laughs> of my entire life, just dudes being dudes <laughs> being gay. <laughs> and uh, I put mineral ice on my nuts for $9. It would have been 10 but my friend Justin said no after I did it. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, that's it. And that's like icy hot? Like it just burns your Shit. Yeah, uh, dude, it's like so. It's beyond icy hot. It's it's like more potent, or at least I've never put that on my bag. But mineral ice itself. <laughs> and we're doing like 
on the sack or the dude, taint I'm or the all hole. my ball like, like asshole to fucking kick my nuts, yeah. dude. I sat on the toilet and cried <laughs> because it felt like somebody was legitimately speed bagging my nuts with ice cubes. And you can't like, like you it was can't so get it weird. off, right? It's you like, you no, can't wash wash it washing off. it off. That water felt, makes it worse, right? It felt yeah. like cold fire. Yeah, like, it was yeah. just <laughs> insane. That's the I, icy hot. It's like yeah. those kind of things. They they that's a weird feeling where you're like, oh, it's so cold. I will say when it stretched back to the asshole though, that's when it became a little enjoyable. <laughs> that That's when you learn what kind of lover you really were. Exactly. I was like, <laughs> store that for later. <laughs> the Alonzo morning gift. Like, yeah. <laughs> Not so bad. We had that kid. We had uh, at Providence College hockey camp, which is exactly like three days where it's just. Mm. It's well, a hockey play. is like, it's an we're going to run camp. like two odd ones over here. You're going to skate line to line over here and you suck that guy's dick over there. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we had a kid. who we, It was an overnight camp, so we'd stay in the dorms at Providence College, and we had this kid. I don't know if it would get better in between, but he would go door to door, everyone's door, and like we would just oh, wait. We would just yeah. wait for him at night. We're like, oh, baby, Justin might be coming tonight. <laughs> and, and he'd like knock on the door. He'd have a fucking two icy hot in his hand. He'd be like, you guys got five bucks? <laughs> Pull his pants down and just fucking slap it on. Nice. And then, and then we'd get to hold fans and because oh hold my god, doors. so we <laughs> hold the fans like. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna get my money's worth tonight. Oh, Put that on. No oscillating. Just fucking right on there. <laughs> wow, I've finally been like affected by a joke. That, like, <laughs> I, I, I recoiled. Yeah. I knew what that felt like. Dude. Oh my god! It's dude, also the exact opposite of basketball camp because basketball camp, if you like shower in your underwear, you're a homo. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, like, it's insane. <laughs> Justin's coming. That was the yeah. same. The same thing. I, I, I inadvertently. Was the guy, but I, what I did was I got cheese pizza, and I mean I didn't order it. I was like a kid, but there was cheese pizza, and we got X lax. Oh, and we put it under the cheese like like pills. What? And then I accidentally ate it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So you, were, like, you were just gonna like slide it to somebody. It was and just not like gonna put it. And then I was like, was it like a Russian roulette sort of thing? Like you don't yeah, know which yeah, slice like has full, it. Yeah, it was like a full of, thing, and it was just and like then you. And then you just didn't. Uh, dude, I had like three bites, and I was like, oh, oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it was, it was uh, media. I was like, fuck. I dude, that happened was, to my friend Hector got. in middle school. I think somebody put somebody put X lax in his drink. This was maybe a top top five most embarrassing moment for I think any human being who's existed on earth mm -hmm. he drank the X-Lax uh, you know in the thing somebody goes X-Lax and then they dumped ketchup on his head <laughs> like the tub of ketchup they just poured it on his head uh, wait, this, how old is this this is like middle school like seventh I just, grade uh, yeah I just it's like evil so, it is so primal and idiotic <laughs> and hilarious yeah. and it's just like yes <laughs> yeah. yes awesome yes dude <laughs> like I wish we were still doing that today man <laughs> yeah I mean he killed himself right after but uh, get up. <laughs> listen you want to hear a good one I uh, can't think of anything more like more shaming than like you're you're taking an X-Lax shit which is it's coming out fast and furious oh. and then but you haven't had time to shower yet so it's you're just, just ketchup is just dripping, dripping into your, your lap yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got like, 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 like your head in your hands like oh, yeah this fucking sticky <laughs> from ketchup while blowing out your ass <laughs> oh. how about this oh. for uh the the uh, mix up you i feel like you particularly will love this one. Oh, this was wild. this is all timer this should this, this went like pretty viral mm -hmm. yeah he, he got uh you know like thirty two thousand likes on it this is our guy uh, big ev here nice my friend is getting married today Went out and then hit it hard last night. He was hurting, so he woke up and took what he thought was three Advil. Apparently, oh. it was three Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, oh, yes! Yes! Like, that like, is again, the like, shit. Like, yeah. like, uh, you know, that dude, yeah. he's getting, he was getting married at 4... So he's, he's getting married at 4.30. He's sound asleep, and all the grooms are getting ready. So all the... Like, that dude's life, or the, you know, the biggest moment of his life, whatever, is about to be absolutely ruined, and everyone yeah. else is going... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, dude, this, this is, gonna this be is so awesome, awesome. <laughs> dude. That's like me. I thought I was taking a bump of B twelve at my wedding, but it was coke. <laughs> it was weird. Apparently. It was weird how that worked. Uh, I know a guy who uh, his, his his bride asked him. The only thing she said is, "Please don't do coke." Nice. And he uh, he Snapchatted like everybody, uh, saying like something like, you know, blah blah blah. Told me not to or whatever, but he tagged her as well and sent it to her. Nice. She was like. 
the one fucking thing. <laughs> anyway, he said, he said uh, <laughs> update. He's talking and moving. He's in the shower getting ready. Luckily, they weren't high doses of Xanax, so it's starting to look okay. Uh, he knows what happened. None of the bridal party has Twitter, so please do not tell the bride. So we thought he was going to get away with this. But this is what I loved. The, the cat's out of the bag. Um, surprisingly, not from these tweets. His soon-to-be wife called him to check in that he wasn't too drunk because he's a party animal. And he said, quote, Quite frankly, it's much worse. <laughs> <laughs> I took a two, I took a yes. few annex by uh, a few annex by accident. But I love that. Like, like I almost picture him doing that like Casablanca voice. Like, quite frankly, my dear, it's way worse. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a difficult day for you <laughs> and our hey, entire uh, family. This thing we've been planning, uh, it's totally ruined. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what. You know, doses just must have been very low or whatever. Yeah. If I take, you know, a little smidge of Xanax, I'm pretty much done. You know, I'm, See, I'm out. I'm out of commission. If I took one, if I took three. I'd probably be like in the hospital. I don't know. It hits I, me different I, than... I feel like I'm Charlie Kelly. I could take a set it off. Yeah. You know oh, what see, I mean? I'm... I used to take Klonopin. I took a Klonopin before doing warm-up for a Seth Meyer test episode. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, because I was... Vi I was like Pikachu, dude. I was electric ang anxious, like could not settle myself. I have an emergency Klonopin that was not prescribed, but, I, but just, you know, just in case in my little pocket. And I was like, it's now or never. I got to figure this out. So I took it and it brought me to a level where I was just kind of anxious. Regular, yeah. And this was like horse level should have put me down yeah, shit. I right. found out later, but I just kind of went up. Had a well, great set shows how didn't get the job. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we used to blow Klonoplin. Oh, yeah. That, like, yeah. Like, you get that icy, that icy yeah. feel down. Yes. We used to do my, my buddy's dad passed away. He had a brain disease. And I don't know why what? I'm laughing. Where are we going? But he got he got he had prescribed just like oh she just had like, gobs like, of like, it. Like the house was just full of <laughs> what an inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can keep the house yeah. and the car. Uh, yeah. I'm out. And, uh, and we would this. just fucking crush up climbing, and we like and we would do too much because it tasted good. Yeah, like it oh, was yeah. like it's icy. Like like it's icy. Like, oh, yeah. this feels good. Go little, little breath fresh. Oh, winter winter green. Yeah. A little winter the, fresh. The on trip them. is nice. Like mm, I'll take more. <laughs> That's a, my. I had a bunch of buddies die in kind of a condensed amount of time, but one of my friends. Friends Crazy. died, and the first time I did stand up comedy was like at his death party, like the night that he, or oh, yeah, the, the day you, you after he, before, yeah, and yeah. I came, we all came down, and I, uh, I did like a half a gram or oh, close to a gram of coke, which I would not recommend. I've since not done it, and uh, and and also like a zanny bar and a half. So yeah. this was oh, like boy. attempting to end our lives, yeah. and then I'm up and like doing comedy <laughs> in front of my friends, and then the I, waitress says, <laughs> <laughs> and then I had I, I had a version of sex. In somebody's uh, in, in, in the back seat of somebody's car, right does after this, that. Does this even count? No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Bro. she was definitely in there, and I was in there, but I don't know if I was in there. A version of yeah. sex. It was Dude, more mashing than anything else. Yeah, you are Danny's Superman. Bro. Bro. Yeah, yeah. It That's was more fucking... grinding than anything. Yeah, like she she probably just got the nub. <laughs> That's wild, man. Dude, if there's if there's coke in the area code, I'm just like, well, I'm not having sex tonight. Well, you were. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is still like high school days, though, right? This is college, so college. I didn't even. But I didn't still, even, like, this is why I fucked up. Is I didn't drink all through high school and through two years of college because I thought I was going to the NBA, right. <laughs> and uh, and then I hit the ground running. Like, so I just started doing everything immediately, and I had no baseline. Gotta make up for time, exactly. You know? But I was that asshole that like everybody's been drinking since they were fifteen and they don't care and they can have six beers and be fine at a party. Yeah, I get to the party a half hour late, and I'm like, how many have you had? Four, great. I'll take eight. <laughs> and then I ruin yeah, yeah, yeah. the party for everybody. <laughs> that was just my steez for three years, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking. Uh, I was at a Mets game the other day with uh, Chris O'Connor and Tommy Pope, the oh, guys from Stuff best. Island, and they were making a beer snake and uh, or a cup snake mm. at the game. And O'Connor was telling the story of um, the last time he did one of those beer wizard things, you mm. know, where you make the the staff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he he was like trying to have the biggest staff or whatever uh -huh. and ended up like getting so blackout drunk that he started crying. <laughs> 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 he said because because what happened was. Uh, Kind of what you talk. The point was like, I got so drunk, I ruined the party because he like all these girls come over from out of town or whatever it was, you know, like the the, the town over. Yeah. And one guy said something like, "You know, you're really acting like Cannon, man." And like that was the guy that the group hated, you know. <laughs> so he, and so he was like, "I was like, he had a friend named Cannon." <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. I'm like, "Wow." Oh shit! Cool. <laughs> That's man. pretty cool. <laughs> so whoever it was was like, you know, they talked about him behind his back of how much they hate him, and he was like. You guys think that I'm like that? <laughs> <laughs> Balling, drying, blacked oh, out. Oh, that's fun. Ruin the party. Yeah, I, I think, you know, quite like, I, I actually very rarely did that. But one time, 
uh, I was I was probably older. I was probably 25, and my cousin had died recently, and I probably just wasn't processing that or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I was. They found me. It was. Uh, I went to the Drift in the Hamptons. The all those guys who own Rathbones and Tinleys Dude, and all that. For a good it. story, when you lead with, they found me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they found. I was. I, oh luckily, I don't know what I was doing. I was. I, they, they. They. It was the first time I got introduced to JMO bombs Oof. instead of uh, Jaeger bombs. Yeah. They were doing with Jameson, and I was. I, I. I think I had the wherewithal to try to get to the exit, but I just stood uh, up against the wall. By the exit, and they like call like they collected me. Holy they left. shit! And then we were in you know one of those you know they in the Hamptons they have like vans that take mm -hmm. twenty people home, and I was just like he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and people were like oh what the fuck? Oh are yeah, here? dude, you know? that's the best. Just misplaced Irish emotion <laughs> just <laughs> flying out of us at every like just at the worst time imaginable. People are trying to celebrate a birthday or something, and you're like you don't understand. I haven't felt this yet. <laughs> and shit from like you. Years ago, you yeah. know. Yeah. Oh my like, god. This is kidding? rotten. I, yeah. I remember doing that at my, at my friend's funeral where I was like, I was not crying, and I was just like, this is gonna come out in a weird way. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, should just like be, I just, I just know. Totally like, fine. If I can't cry here, like this is gonna come out, and it's gonna, it's gonna ruin some people's weeks. Oh yeah. Sure. <laughs> do you know? Do you know how many of my college friends had to watch a newly drinking Mike Cannon <laughs> cry and punch himself in the face <laughs> over past trauma and abuse? <laughs> like. So many, and then I'd like call my sister, and she'd like be like, "Should I call the ambulance? Like you're, you are not well, dude." No, I got fine. Then the next morning, I'd call her, and be like, "Crazy night last night, dude. Wild, huh? <laughs> you know how it goes." <laughs> Man, that that is so fucking funny when it's like, well. I, you know, if I could just shed a couple tears at this funeral, which would be totally fine, everything will be all good, but it's probably going to, like, ruin my relationship in a month. Dude, I was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, boy, is this going to come out on a woman. <laughs> it's like, I am really going to take this out on some poor gal. <laughs> Straight goodwill hunting. Man. I am gonna fucking push her away and ruin her. And <laughs> the, the, I was wearing I was wearing sunglasses at the funeral because I was embarrassed to be the one who wasn't crying. <laughs> wow, I know that. Yeah, dude. Oh, I was man. like, yeah, like, yeah. Was, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. A few nose I don't hairs. like people to see my tears. Yeah. Actually, I've, I've done that. that. I've really? plucked a few nose hairs, yeah. but I like no sneezed tears. on the corpse <laughs> instead of cried. I'm like, it's just insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It, that that is one of the realest stereotypes ever. Uh, I'm sure maybe some other groups have that guilt and and a bad yeah. ability to process. I think emotions. we all do it, but just we in but different I mean, ways. When I when I kind of hurt, like I don't think of myself. I'm not like an Irishman, you know what mm. I mean? I'm not. I'm an American. I don't get sure. behind any of that shit. But I don't know. There's something to absolutely to like my absolute inability to. Oh, process yeah. shit and maybe that's maybe it's because I'm Irish Catholic maybe it's just because I'm a, like an immature dickhead <laughs> yeah. whatever it is it's also mostly because your parents were Irish Catholic yeah, like that's, right. this that's is generational trauma yeah. baby yeah, it just <laughs> comes down I mean as a parent I, I'm sure you recognize this too but like all the stuff that you notice now that your parents tried not to do and failed miserably mm -hmm. at like not becoming their parents their state, their mission statement this is not how I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna break go this cycle yeah and yeah, then you know, they go like, and break your face and stuff <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, I guess I'll try. I'll try to slow I've, that one I've down. I've had moments on a much less like serious uh, level of like things that I, I was like, all right, I'm gonna like do this as a dad. I'm yeah. Gonna, like whatever. And then like that moment arrives, and I can do that and put in like extra effort, or I can be like. Here's a bowl of macaroni and cheese. You know, like we can just like kind of we can just keep having yeah. fun for the day. Yeah. Not this is like a, a teaching moment presented itself, and I just don't want to teach right now. So yeah. like, how about another round on the monkey bars? You know, <laughs> like so, this is how it starts. This yeah. is how yeah. you start mailing it in. <laughs> Sometimes you got to give the kid a Xanax. You know, <laughs> every once in a while they're just yelling, running around. But that was I. I like have never I've never given my kid so far a, a screen to shut him up. Like it's been it's been almost three years, and I've done an Good okay job at like for you, bro. Well, I'm a energy filled clown so all i he's a captive audience for me so that is perfect he feeds my narcissism my wife can go fuck off and me and him are just like in our own world and i'm just like what and he's like, you're an idiot but we were at uh i just did a roar comedy club in springfield mass okay at uh at the mgm and we went to this nice nice steak dinner they give you a per diem it's great so we go there with my kid and he's like having a great time and then just that snap like out of nowhere he's mm -hmm. like 
fuck this, fuck you, and fuck you. <laughs> I'm not listening to anything. Yeah. Give me a knife. Like, he's, like, grabbing <laughs> at all the utensils, trying to harm everything. And then finally, after, like, minutes of negotiating and not getting anywhere, I was just like, Coco Melon, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm like, here, have some Watch. child crack. Yeah. And just, just soak up this government mind control. <laughs> That's exactly what that is. No, that show is 100%. insane. It's the most cucked out father of all time. Every song is like, the mother, she does everything. And then he bounds in like, oh. I'm like, god damn, I want to pistol whip the father from Coco Melon. <laughs> As you say that you're the clown who's like, oh. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. He shines a mirror that I'm not ready to see. Dude, I, <laughs> I, I am sure that, you know, there's something to not putting them in front of a screen and yeah. watching all that shit. The, my kids know so much shit from, from YouTube that's, like, kind of impressive. Like, I don't know, she, the other day she, can, she counted to, to 10 in Spanish. And I was like, that's amazing. Oh, I didn't teach you that, did you? <laughs> Their mom was like, no, I know they're not doing it in school. I was like, score one for YouTube. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know, let's go. Yeah, yeah. But then she asked me the other day, oh, she said something like, um, she said, like, can tornado? She said, "Like, can tornadoes kill you?" I was like, "Nope." Oh, well, not if you're see, smart. that was one of those. Well, <laughs> yeah. if you're John, smart. That's right. I, I should have said, "Why don't we call Uncle John about this?" John, John has a very uh, strict rule that I, he will I, never. He's like, I, "I promise you." I've made one guarantee in my life. I guarantee I don't die in a tornado. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I have, dude. I, if I saw it, I'd just go somewhere else. One just. <laughs> I mean, that's foolproof, dude. Yeah. Imagine it just whips up right at your feet, though. Well, that's the thing. It's like, you, you know, <laughs> sure, they can come out of nowhere, but we know it's going to be like, you know, in the bread basket in Kansas, Nebraska, yeah. whatever. If you live there, it's like, and it drops like on your a, house, it's then. like a block wide. Yeah. Just don't go to that block. That thing. <laughs> <laughs> I do think we're gonna get start. We're gonna start getting tornadoes in New York. Well, we started to dabble yeah. with the hurricanes, yeah. and then there's always like a tornado watch. But I don't think anything's ever touched down. No, but I think the it's day, gonna get dude, bad. At the some day point. that uh, like a twister rips through some of these pop populated, like densely populated areas. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like they Let's just hope it's right? downtown Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> just well, I rips remember. all the peanut butter allergic kids directly into the fucking river, and then we're a stronger city because of it. <laughs> we, we named that tornado Darwin. He came through. <laughs> do you remember the uh, the areas? It, it, were you when did we do when did we move to New York? You weren't around for Sandy, right? No, like Sandy? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, remember the like flood zones? Yeah, and I remember being like, wow, well, like. Flood A can go. Like, <laughs> Flood C can kick rocks. Yeah. Like, a lot, of, a lot of the outer boroughs, like, all right, they're like the, the hipsters in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. I think I actually, this is bad. I think I have a blog that was like celebrating, like, the hipsters are gone and the fucking, <laughs> you know, like, the, the Guineas and Bensonhurst are out and the hipsters are done. And, oh, and 2012, like, oh, what a time. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we were we were on the Upper East Side at uh, Normandy Court, Dormandy Court. Oh, that's where my wife lived. Yeah, actually. that's where yeah. fucking, that's you know, so funny, all of yeah. our, our demographics. Traffic lives. Yeah. Uh, we got, you know, a ungodly amount of, of booze, weed, and snacks. Yeah. And, you know, huddled up in this high rise. Nothing happened. So we were like, nothing happened to us. So clearly nothing happened to anybody else. Right. <laughs> yeah. like, this storm was a bust on Twitter. And people are like, I lost my dog, my, my daughter, and my house. Yeah. 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 Like, like, I, they just I ran found out my Doritos house in North early. Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Dude, Good that, times, great that is what, that's the best part about a natural disaster, though, is the excuse <laughs> to live like a pirate. Yeah, you, yeah. like I was playing. My wife was away uh, at the time. We were living on 78th and York, and actually, right outside of my building, a uh, one of those what are the electrical stations called? Like a charger. Or something. Boom! It exploded, caught a couple cars on fire. Like yeah, it was those a big thing. Are no joke. But I mean, or yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. So me and my buddy at like 9 a.m. I wouldn't wake up that early for like disciplined <laughs> reasons, but we'd wake up at 9 a.m. Start playing poker and ripping whiskey yeah. early in the For, day because you can always. Like, Why the fuck not? You have day. no responsibility. Yeah, that's it's what, like uh, amazing. An, an adult yeah. snow day is one of the greatest things yeah. in the world, and those were like the mother of all of them because mm -hmm. you had people planning for days. You, it was like a snow day that you absolutely knew was coming. Yeah. So yeah, like you know, I had a couple friends who were in the flood zones. They were like, yeah. "I got to come hunker down with you." I was like, "This is great. It's like a sleepover for yeah, adults." Yeah. And then you know, but a bunch of people like lost their lives. It is, in their, in their but livelihood. it is sick. Like I mean, you're right with the natural disasters, and there are times when you're like. You're watching the news, you're hanging out with the boys, and you're like, you kind of this could get a little worse. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, you just, you we turned it up a half notch. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe, maybe squeeze another couple week down out of this. trees. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember getting a little bit of that hurricane hysteria because it was like, 
Isabel and then a couple mm -hmm. others and then and I remember it being like not it was downgraded when it made landfall and I remember being like Oh, yeah. which is like such every a downgrade scumbag hurricane. thing to think. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What it's a tropical storm what, now. Like, what are weather we fucking blue balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that that's straight from. I think that's programmed in us from. You know, you're gonna get 12 to 18 inches. You're gonna miss school for oh, a week, yeah. and then you get like a fucking yeah, every, dust. Every homeless guy in town's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, but I have. A, I'm supposed to have a pop quiz tomorrow. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a crazy part about Sandy as well. Is like everything. Once everything blew out, then they also couldn't get their medication so right, like methadone was, was scarce fun. all that stuff yeah. i remember like walking downtown to do shows in candlelight like right after that that's how much of an addict i am <laughs> but i we chris de Seveno and i were walking downtown and it was night of the living dead i am legend yeah, shit dude scary. just people off their meds just, like right, that right it's it the was aftermath terrifying. it's usually this way is worse why terrifying the fucking ignorance is the best because like <laughs> i don't need to know that like yeah. that it affects the fucking medicine and how it gets to people like, i I wanted to think it it rains pretty hard for a few days and then everything goes back to normal. Yeah, <laughs> so, right? yeah, like, yeah, right, yeah. People in Jersey are still like, we are still living the ramifications yeah, of like, Sandy. Like New Orleans is still. Oh, you'll love this story. Uh, do, do you follow the <laughs> Sandy? You'll love this. Yeah, <laughs> we're all great in this one. Uh, do you do you follow the four play guys at all? The, the golf guys here at Barcelona? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know Frankie Borelli? Uh, yeah. Okay, so he's also the pizza guy. Frankie was down in New Orleans. Uh, I think they had a, one of the classics was down there. One of their their golf. But whatever, they're in New Orleans, and like ESPN 900, 990 or whatever wants mm. to have them on, and they're like a local New Orleans uh, show. And for whatever reason, they both were going into it kind of like, I think I think there was drama at Barstool, and they didn't want any drama, and they were like, let's just get in, in and out, clean, mm. don't even be funny, we don't have to push the envelope, like let's just talk about some golf and get out of here with no drama. And <laughs> first question, they ask him, they go, if you could have a song, uh, like a walk-up song as you approach the tee box, what would it be? And he was like, I don't know, like Pink Floyd, When the Levees Go, When the Levees Break. <laughs> And like a genuine answer, and the guy, the guy took took off his, his headset. Went, Whoa, brother! <laughs> Dude, just, not in this town. Not in this town. Which was probably the nicest reaction he could have given yeah. him. Yeah. But like yeah. Frankie, Frankie looked it up, and I can't remember. I think he said there's something like like a hundred million songs are on like Apple Music. Like there's a hundred million songs yeah. in existence, and he said the one. <laughs> and he in the one town. Where you can genuinely not oh. trying to be funny, like, right? Like, yeah, he, yeah. He meant he was yeah. Like, he's like, I love. I think it's that Led Zeppelin. He's like, but Led I love Zeppelin, it's like yeah. old school. It's classic rock. Like it's got like a great intro, so it, like makes sense <laughs> to walk up to the T box. And he's just like, when let me break. Yeah, it's like on nine twelve in New York, being like, we didn't start the fire. <laughs> do, you, no, do you remember that was Sandy? When uh, oh man, I remember. I, I got a lot of hate on this from Twitter. Uh, uh, bon Jovi did a Sandy thing. And he sung his big song, well, because I can't go home, or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> or it was like, you know, something about going home. And I was like, they can't, John. They fucking can't. That's why we're doing this. Like, just do fucking uh, the other one that everybody loves. Don't do the home one. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. He was trying to be heartfelt and yeah. just backfired. Good for him. Everybody else, you know, maybe I'm just a cynical asshole. Everyone else was like, this is so sweet. I was like... I guess those again. That no, was 2012. I, you know, those were the days where if we don't point that out. I don't know. No, that was the days when we should have been like, yeah, yeah. fuck Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, crazy man. It's uh, like uh, in Veep when they they have uh, Sting is like is Selena Meyer's like walkout song. But then she gets caught in this scandal where they were like searching people's data. And then, like the song is like, I'll be watching. Oh yes, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. This yeah. can't be the song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. You're right. Like, you can't can't like, do that. That's a hard question to be put on the spot for. It's like something you almost have to have it predetermined because every single time a, a sound guy at a club is like, "So what do you want?" You freeze. So I I have no idea. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, sync. Like bye bye bye. Like yeah. I immediately am like, <laughs> well, it's I don't those know. Things where it's like, uh, I I don't have any faith in myself, and yeah. I don't. Not like the walk up type. Like I'm gonna hit a home yeah. run at the plate, so I'd probably play like you know, uh, I'm sorry by Akon. Like, yeah, you know dude. If I was like like Schultz is perfect for the explosions. Yeah, the pyrotechnics, the drop, the cape. Right. If I did that, one of the pyrotechnics would like hit me in the temple. <laughs> yeah. I'd die pre show, and then everybody would be better for it. <laughs> so true, man. Like I, I, I struggle. You know, we don't. We go. We do a show like once a month. Yeah. So we don't. You know. You did the Wilbur, that. right? How was yeah. that? Yeah. It was awesome. The That's Wilbur awesome. was really cool. Um, but like because we don't have material, we just kind of do a show. It's mm. sometimes we go into a show with like not that great of material, but yeah. shit just seems to fall into place, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But so every time I'm going out, I'm like kind of nervous, and 
and I struggle so much with coming on, just just getting on stage. Yeah, like, yeah. You're better about it. You have more energy. You kind of like run out and jump a little bit and dance. I like literally just like walk to the table and sit down. I'm like, <laughs> hi, it's time to start the show. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I hate that. I Dude, fucking so even, bad at it. Even 14 years into comedy, walking out on stage, I'm still embarrassed. Yeah. That like I'm doing this. <laughs> that, 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 that not only am I doing it, but that they came to see me. And it's like, and now even more because it's starting to sell some tickets and yeah. people are coming out intentionally. And it's like, they have this. <laughs> <laughs> they have this look on their face, and I'm just like, expectations are my worst nightmare, Absolutely, dude. <laughs> I, 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 I've, I've worked so hard, and now I hate it. You want to start it with an apology. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm, like, I'm sorry for being here. They, they bought tickets to see you, and you're like, I'm sorry. Well, and Let's then that see. just bums them out. They're like, what do you mean, dude? We love you. And it's like, oh. Chris Rock has been <laughs> that, started. Well, that bums me out. Yeah, it's like, right? I don't know. So none of us are having now, fun then. And it's like, if you like me, and you've seen my show, or my, my stuff, you know this is where we're you know, this is yeah, where yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just commit mass suicide right here. <laughs> that will be my final show. Oh, uh, wouldn't that be great? For sure. One yeah. day, just oh. everybody, everybody, those, you know, two mandatory drinks, guess what was in those? We're all going. Dude. We're all going to the Comet, man. Let's see did you, ya. Dude, did you ever hear, there was an open micer, I think, in Oregon, uh, who did this open mic, and he sang a song, and he was the final comedian on the open mic, and the song was Sorry for the Mess. And then he finished, and he stabbed himself to death <laughs> on stage. <laughs> And Whoa, it wow. is that that is the right response because it is a killer bit, like a killer get out on Sorry top. I'm fucking done. That's Dude, my time. That is a legend. Wow. Dude, unreal. Like multiple. Oh yeah. Like in, yeah, yeah. Out, Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. No Daniel's hesitation. Song. No hesitation. So I am couple. going through and rattling my cage and then pulling out and doing it again. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. That's unbelievable video of this. I was uh, just saying, please that, tell me it was real. It's probably a live leak, but I, yeah, I, yeah. Because no you know, like live it's one thing, you know, if you get the 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 the, you know, the balls to slit it or slit oh. it or take it, or whatever. But to be like in out, in out, in out, in out. That's oh. sorry with the man. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, he'd be pleased to know how much it tickled you. Yeah. <laughs> he would. If I you know if I know this guy, like I know I don't. <laughs> he'd be, you know, there's some, there's some, uh, you know, the club owner or like a like a David Tell or someone who loves the craft is oh, like, oh yeah, that. yeah, <laughs> that is how respect it, man. Mm -hmm. Respect the craft. I love to see, I love to see the lyrics to "Sorry for the Mess." Like I wanna. <laughs> Yeah, is that, is that this guy's a bit of a hero of mine. Song? I think it was a, an original like his song. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna perform. I, I, Imagine I he went out with somebody mess. else's bit. That'd be yeah. tough. <laughs> Dude, I need to find this guy's name so when people ask who you think the funniest comedian is, like, yeah, that it guy. is this guy. He's Very a true. lesser known open mic <laughs> comic, but he had one big hit. <laughs> oh, you like the Chappelle's and the Burrs? I have a different taste. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm an artiste. <laughs> I like people who go all out. <laughs> uh, that's good to hear. Though. Tickets, tickets are moving. Like, yeah, started. yeah, man. It's 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 been good. I'm I'm not used to it at all, and uh, it's it's wildly uncomfortable. Again, that's probably the Irish stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm begging for support, and as soon as somebody offers it, I'm like, you're molesting me. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is a weird. I I I'm, I struggle with it a lot because with you guys, you are writing and preparing and cr you know fixing and all that shit. Yeah. But like we don't even do any of that, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> why do you? Why are you guys even here? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, this is this is its own established thing, which is you guys have built it, and that's so impressive in and of itself. Is that it's? I its guess own that's what I need to remind. Ecosystem. Like we, we did the work yeah, already, dude, and yeah. then going out on stage is kind of like the culmination of it. It's but, also but that is that is I'm what like, it is because you know some comics. I almost feel bad for like really super young comics that blow up super quick yeah. on TikTok because. Then they go out on the road and it's more of an appearance like the people yeah. are seeing them for the picture after because yes, they sure. don't necessarily they didn't build any foundation and it's not their fault they no. just they just took what off. are you supposed to do say no yeah you know not I mean? turn down tens of thousands of dollars to right. sell tickets it's like you never know if that's going to come up again right so it, it it but you guys have also done that where your your foundation isn't built in sand right it's, you've right, established right. not only a relationship with your fans so they're like they're there they understand what the show is but you also have chops from all the writing you've done from yeah. all the podcasting that you've done like this right. is this is legit mic time yeah you know yeah I, 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 to Josh Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I remember talking to Potter about it he was saying like you know all of those blogs are basically open mic nights you know yeah in 
in essence. Obviously in a way, not, yeah, you know, yeah. It's like being in front of people. Uh, is not as good as some of them might not say. <laughs> 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 no, there is one. No, the gold no. standard. We never reached that level. <laughs> Have you ever bled for your art? <laughs> <laughs> um, that should be the new TikTok thing. Oh, so you're an artist, huh? <laughs> Are you good at it? And then that's just the kid stabbing himself to death. <laughs> they stitch it together. Like, How about this one? <laughs> oh, man. Can we... Can we find this guy, Nick? Can we see if there's a... Kip Rusty Walker is his name. Kip Rusty, Rusty Walker. R.I.P., dude. Yeah. And he, uh, the entire audience was cheering wildly thinking, <laughs> it, was, thinking it was performance art. Yeah. Well, it was. Yeah. It was. And then, then, spade spade. Yeah, and then he collapsed in a pool of his own blood, and they started screaming. <laughs> freaking out. Dude, it's a legend! This dude is a legend! Kip Rusty Walker? Kip Rusty Walker. Dude, Kip is, Rusty Walker. Why, God? That, I, that, that should be like a. I, I want. I <laughs> want to start. Cheering on your suicide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh start no! Like, this is not going the way. <laughs> <laughs> but or did it pump Maybe. him up? Yeah. Maybe <laughs> to be like, yeah, you're goddamn right. I'm yeah. not gonna. I'm not gonna stop. That first I'm one was on you guys. Not leaving. Yeah. <laughs> that, that maybe you know maybe that is how we wanted. Maybe he was like, I'm gonna go out with the best fucking. <laughs> Could you, just I would love to watch just like one person from that crowd who was just like, fuck yeah, like rock and roll. Oh, wait, no, no. no. Like just watching the face change would be spectacular. Dude, yes. I want to start a band. That's like we are Rob Kiss Rob Rip Kip, Kip, what's Kip, Rusty, Kip Walker. Rusty Walker. <laughs> Thank you and good night. Like the people who know know. Yes. Yeah. Kip Hell Rusty yeah. Walker is our legend. Hey, our dubs. You gotta, you gotta make a T-shirt and honor him. <laughs> <laughs> send the proceeds we'll, to we'll his fans. We'll sell, we'll sell like twelve of them, but they'll be like, boss. Awesome. <laughs> Kip Rusty Walker. Uh, <laughs> um. But you know it's interesting because like there's been all this drama with uh, Shab and and Bobby Lee oh, talking yeah. about to keep up with all that uh, a little uh, bit and it <laughs> as finally much as it's I so, can it's so <laughs> it was so we had a very dramatic week at Barstool with just I saw that yeah romances and you guys live such a fun life man yeah. because yeah. when that shit sure. between yeah. adults <laughs> is fun. like legitimate yeah. like that yeah. is well I've been telling people that I got out of the bubble like there was one day that was particularly it was this drama with the. Uh, office hookups and there was this drama with the burners and fake lists and all this shit oh, yeah and i came out of i was i was in it i was i'm not i'm not above it i was like holy shit like who is this guy i gotta find him and then when i to spoke to my friends and family out of this world they were like you're being such a faggot like <laughs> shut the fuck up like this is not real life like shut the fuck yeah, up like there yeah. are literally parents who cannot get baby formula for their children right, right now like yeah. they're going to die and I'm like who was talking about me on Reddit I need the burn book you know and like this is oh, fucking man. so ridiculous it well is, now it's so funny walking around I mean I don't know if it's still happening like the drama or anything like that but it just seems like productive energy well everybody is here so we have this trivia uh show that everybody does and today is like the playoffs yeah it's the first that, time i've seen dave in the well, office so and he looks like dave is bad and man yeah. I, mean, it is he, I can't wait perfectly he, he's, he's like this chicken. color <laughs> <laughs> he just has a baked uh, chocolate chip cookie but yeah. i like chicken better <laughs> like, like, chicken over here. like when a cartoon animal is super hungry like that's the steaming perfect <laughs> rotisserie chicken <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's a great reference uh but anyway the reason i brought it up was because it made uh, uh shab and went on with Callan on like a fighter and the kid where they like he finally like laid it all on the line and was sure. like, very honest about things and and at the root of that was his original special where he said like and and I don't know if you saw this he said on Flagrant Two he was like yeah Flagrant Two he was like nobody told me not to do it mm. nobody gave it a no once one? over well and then and <laughs> no then, one <laughs> but you then, have terrible friends dude <laughs> so Callan Callan rolled the clip on their show and was yeah. like. No, you said nobody did it. Uh -huh. Nobody. He was like, I begged him not to put it out. I, he was like, I'll write with you, give it at least a few months. And yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But on the flip side, like like you said, like Showtime comes to you and is like, right. I'm giving you the bag. Yeah. But uh, also in Brennan's case, he had a lot of fucking money. I think by that point. That's if the thing. I, it's like, like if I you're I making do, millions of dollars from your podcast plus all the other stuff, it's like why? Why, even why do, do you it? need yeah. it? That's what I, I understand. If you love comedy, yeah. But like I love comedy. 
I'm not going to put if out you, special. If you loved comedy, then you would not fuck her like that. <laughs> you, would, you would make her come. Yeah. You would do right. your best to get, right. you know, to become acclimated, get as professional as possible with it. Right. It's like, I, I don't know. I, but, I don't know. The also, guy seems nice enough. If, if So to me, it's like either you, if you need the money and they're like, Showtime's like, here's fucking 50 grand or 100 grand or whatever, mm. like go off. Uh, but I'm other, sure other than that. that, you know, yeah. you know, it's like if you, if you need it, or it's a huge number. Yeah, if, yeah. If they came to me today and was like, "Here, it will give you five million dollars to do stand-up comedy." I'd be yeah, like, I'm going to totally bomb. But absolutely, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do good, it. You know? <laughs> but other than that, it's just like, don't you know? It's like fucking Joe Rogan doesn't do specials, right? Like, but, I mean, he does now. He, but he takes his time and he like develops. Does he have like I mean, the stuff? When was yeah. the last time he had like a like an hour long special? He did, he did a Netflix one like a couple years ago, right? It was called. It was a very cringy name. It was like triggered. Yeah. Oh right. Oh, I do remember that now. But my point. Great being, name, like, great comic. Would love to do a show. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, I got also, a, I I got a special to promote. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like you can do, you know, if you're great at podcasting, which he is, like, mm. you know, has a million shows that are all successful, and then uh, you can do comedy yeah. and be like, people come out and see me. It's kind of what we do with our live show. It's like, that's not our bread and butter. We sure. know people want to see it. We're good enough at it. Make a little bit of money. Take some pictures. Get back to what we yeah. do well. Do you know? And not put a you know if we were we like, are selling our live shows pretty strong here. <laughs> yeah, but, but say it's great. That it's hilarious. You're like, yeah, we're okay. there. He's like, yeah. we're definitely there. We're in the building. We don't know what's I gonna happen. Put together what Philly is selling. <laughs> well, I'm done with Philly. This is our last show in Philly ever. <laughs> I'm buying tickets. It's clearly their fault, not ours. Fuck them. Do you know? Do you know who's kind of doing it the right way though? And I've he's like dabbled in and out of stand up comedy, but I've hung with him. A few times is Vinny Guadagnino from uh, mm -hmm. Jersey Shore mm -hmm. is he's actually he like anonymously dips into clubs does time writes his stuff and gets and like hangs out with comics talks to comics asks us nice. about comedy and stand up and he's not like like you know years ago after the initial burst he was on the road a little bit and he'd try to do it and he was like dude it's too hard like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing yeah. every I, everything would sell out but he's like it was well, a bad right. yeah. it was a that, tough that's show. where he also was very um like I'm not the Jersey Shore. I'm bigger right. than that. I'm better than that. And like, I can understand that, but also don't, you know, don't bite the hand that feeds you and don't yeah. resent it and all that kind of shit. But there is a weird, uh, it's a, uh, what do they call it? Champagne problems. Yeah, yeah. Because you're selling out and shit. Yeah. But like Barstool, we can, we can move tickets, but like, and we now are good at the, at the live shows as yeah, much yeah. as I'm joking about it now. But like <laughs> back then, you know, in, when we first did the Wilbur, I think the show ended up going well, but we had like no business selling out the Wilbur, yeah, yeah, but yeah. we could. Yeah, yeah. Barstool, you know. But the good thing about it is there's also like there's just expectations for the show. Like there's not a laugh every 15, 30 seconds yeah. yes. expectations. We're like, I'm going to see a podcast. That's what Who I knows still what's gonna struggle happen. to get over. I'm like, they're not laughing. They're not laughing. They're not laughing. But like, it's a know, podcast. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but but that's like when we do. Here's a scenario. We've done it a couple times on the road. Mm -hmm. It's it, because it's the three of us. It helps, and I'm sure you guys get the same thing because your competitive comedy juices kind of get mm -hmm. in. So you immediately are trying to beat. You're trying to but yeah yeah, 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 yeah big yeah, line yeah. big line. But right, right. I get the same feeling when it's like we're reading questions or there's like. A, you know, a second lull. I'm like, fuck, man. I'm only used to being on stage where it's like, boom, 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 and right. I'm in control and you of know the rhythm. There's gonna be a laugh right here, and there's gonna <laughs> yeah. be a, a groan right here. And yeah. then I'm gonna, you know, it's, it's, it's that's the crazy. More I did a, I filmed a crowd work special uh, on 420 on edibles. I took 150 milligrams <laughs> edibles, and I thought Jesus I was like, Christ. it's gonna be fun. Like, I'll put out my hour on May 18th, 9 p.m. My Canon Comedy YouTube, and then I'll put out this secondary thing. It'll probably be like a 15 or 20 minute fail video yeah. of me crying on a corner of the stage, like <laughs> huddled up because I'm too high and I've bitten off more than I could chew and there's gonna be seven people and it'll be funny in that respect. It's sold out. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, God damn it. I have one show to get it. Obviously, you know, it's a, it's, mm -hmm. it's a precarious situation with the dosage and stuff like that. I take the edibles. I'm like smoking on stage. Like I'm in a fucking Tennessee Williams play, <laughs> you know, smoking weed, getting higher. Mm -hmm. And I did, I, I did an hour Hour seven, Holy where, shit. where it's one of those things where you just you, you can just ride, a, you can catch a wave. Especially it's like 
like I said, selling tickets, all that stuff. I've done edibles on a show before where I've even acknowledged it and people have been like, oh, and you immediately origami into yourself <laughs> and not have any clue how to get back because that initial support is just Gone. non-existent. Yeah. But then you have your fans there or people that support you like, and you say, yeah. I'm on an edible. They're like, us yeah. too. <laughs> I'm on blow. Yeah. Like, That's not yeah. this show. but all right. <laughs> you know. Very different experiences, but okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. But it, it, it lets you kind of... <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I, it just slipped, but I caught it, and I just kind of caught it towards the bottom. It got messy. It got messy. It got messy. Awesome. <laughs> it got messy. That so this table's going to be sticky forever now. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> we just cleaned it and everything. That was the best. I love it also. You're just pounding. Uh, yeah, are you hungover today? No. You I just, just like, we, we like we we water. water. Like, like just straight up? We don't water. My mouth is so we, we haven't had now. water in this office. I've drank we have the last like, three shows we did. Cause I've drank two water so far this show. <laughs> yeah. We, they, they don't give them to us because we got to keep them for guests. This is probably so, <laughs> so I got to drink fucking sugar water. Yeah. Thank God. I've I've got <laughs> mouth. This is probably disgusting, but whatever. Ew. Oh, that's been in there for a while. That that bottle emits estrogen yeah. now. Yeah. Isn't that what happens when a plastic bottle is in sunlight for too long? You drink it and it's like giving you estrogen. Really? I well, maybe that's so. dude. That I, I, a lot of my behavior. I remember, or at least that's what I read on, on Breitbart. <laughs> Dude, it's, the, I, it's the emasculation of men and i've had it i've had it these water bottle companies trying to give me tits now that you say that i do remember rogan doing a uh, thing on that and i think he said it had something to do with the plastics oh no then, shit and then he said um <laughs> i think as we are becoming more like beta cuck soy boys our taints <laughs> big time our that's, taints that's are getting me. smaller Oh, <laughs> I'll have him know. My taint is large and in charge. It is. Oh, really, Rogan? Yeah. Like, oh, my, my, my. <laughs> it is thick and dangly. <laughs> you can pick me up like a dog and just scruff his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember people being like, no, don't worry. It doesn't hurt them. <laughs> yeah. They don't have any feeling back there. And then yeah. you're getting carried out by your taint. Yeah. Don't worry. He can't feel it. <laughs> it is pretty numb. It is pretty numb. From you know the years of You know what's super numb? Mm. Your scrotum. Not your ball. Your your bag. Like the yeah. bag. Yeah, like yeah. Viewers, yeah you like can, you can, I can pinch it. Dude, we as hard as can be. Like yeah. slam it into the table. As long as there's no nothing. veins or any of the, you know. Yeah, like if you catch the wrong thing, you're, yeah, you're, you're in dead. trouble. But, you're, <laughs> you know, I was like, we should make planes out of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and it crashes. Yeah, you know? yeah. At least a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cannon. You're fucking funny, man. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Funny, I appreciate dude. it. Uh, you guys are the best. Yeah. Uh, but, but anyway, this is all because I was asking about uh, tickets selling, so it's yeah. It's got to be. I mean, you said 14 years, right? So that's a, yeah. that's a fucking grind, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, whatever COVID was, I still count that as a year because I got I got all my sure. comedy outlet through YouTube and digital and all whatever that shit. Did, so yeah. I'm still working on it. But yeah. Yeah, man. It's a, it's the best thing I've ever done. It's the most emotionally swinging thing I've ever done mm -hmm. uh, outside of maybe poker. But uh, that maybe that's true, though. Maybe you were built for a little a little bit like that. I have some sort that of your blood. Like. I, s I have some sort of self punishment thing yeah. where I like I like it. And, I, you know, the athlete stuff, I'd, I'd go, I went to the Basketball Hall of Fame with my kid when I was in Springfield. And like, I can't watch those highlights of like championships, the grind, the, 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 the perseverance and all that shit without welling up mm -hmm. and like ready to, I am a fucking sucker for that shit, <laughs> dude. And I love it. It's inspiring. It, it embarrassingly pumps me up and makes yeah. me want to push through no, my own shit. That's good though. I mean, like it, so many people find it, it's like cool to not, Mm. You know, I don't give a shit about anything, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's lame. no, I care so care. much. Yeah, like, I care <laughs> that's so it, much it about comedy. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like because then if you let people know that you care and you fail, it's like I mean they're mean whatever. anyway. So I don't, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> at this God, point, they're so I'm mean. an open wound. Come at me, dude. Come at me. Just Tell me what I me already know about myself. <laughs> <laughs> but it hurts more from you for something. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Look, you guys have realized it too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. I thought I thought I was the only one. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. I thought I was a pretty good Yeah, design. you and your Amber Heard avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me. <laughs> it is a sick, sick fucking world. And now I, I keep getting 
one of our running themes here is uh, we might be the kings of backhanded compliments because mm. there is so much hate. People will come yes. up to me and be like, man, like fucking nobody likes you, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay, well, there's, yeah. there's one. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I got one today that was just like that. I was like, I know you think that this is funny, but like it's fucking not. <laughs> or, or, or not funny, but like you think that it's it's nice or whatever, but yeah. it's absolutely not. Is this in person at shows or is this no, mostly no. Ah, you know yeah. what? I've gotten people come up to me and be like, um, you know, like uh, I. It's like they're, they're like, they respect it. They're yeah, kind of yeah. like, man, you take a beating, but like you keep going out there. And yeah. Like, and I've always liked you, and it is nice, but it's also like, thanks for reminding me <laughs> of stop, fucking stop telling that. me I'm a public puncher. Yeah, bag, this is the one. <laughs> I woke up to it this morning. Just want to say, man. Oh, I posted a picture uh, from the father daughter dance with Shay. That was the best. Yeah. By so the way. he goes, that, that post with Shay was awesome. The entire internet throws shit at you and your family day in and day out, <laughs> and all you do is go out there. <laughs> <laughs> Sage, but you're a good fucking dad and it's cool to see from the outside looking in That's so it sweet. is nice but yeah. it's just like man all they do is <laughs> abuse you and harp on you and your insecurities oh, until yeah. you're depressed and you hide it well dude i get i get <laughs> fucking people, great i get people that like mean well exactly like that and they're like man i just relate to you so much dude i can't stop smoking meth before <laughs> picking up my son and i'm like that's not All the right. message I'm conveying. <laughs> not on the same page. <laughs> I used to have yeah. this guy who, RIP, uh, I, I won't say his name, but he used to send me videos of him hot hot railing something, I think it's called. What's that? But he had a blowtorch and and lines of crystal meth on a marble, uh, on a marble chessboard, and he would heat the heat the glass pipe have a rubber thing taped to it do a line of it and then blow smoke out of his mouth oh, and his eyes shit. would shark over and just be like i like you what <laughs> and i'm like ah. yeah, that's, that's one way to do it, but that is you, fucking yeah. i've scary. never heard of hot that. railing i think that's what it's called yeah say it yeah. again what do you do you, you so you have a glass pipe there's lines of what i assume was either powdered meth or Adderall or something like yeah, that. Yeah. And then he like, he electrical taped a rubber str uh, straw to it and then uh, blew a line, oh, heated up the thing, the glass, yeah. did a line of it and then blew smoke out, out of his mouth. Wow. Yeah. I think yeah. it's cool oh, if you like geez. take a hit and no. drink a beer. I'm like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you ever do rising shotties? No, What's dude. That? So a rising shoddy. Me and my buddies went through a little phase of this, where you know, a shoddy is you turn the joint around and then you kiss each other. I never smoked much weed, so I don't know much. Uh, <laughs> so much weed so you don't kiss so each other, but you put your face. The hit while your mouth you're like, is... yeah, you're blowing a hit directly into your friend's face. <laughs> I don't know what the benefit is. I think I could get the same amount of smoke through the other end, <laughs> but whatever. It's just dudes being dudes, and, <laughs> and then you put your dick out on, <laughs> yeah, dude. A rising <laughs> Rising shoddy is you start, both of you start in catcher's position and you rise. Oh, this is getting gayer and gayer. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. You squat you, down. You sit right on a dildo. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> you take a hit, you rise. blow the smoke out of your dick <laughs> into his ass. <laughs> <laughs> so you both slowly rise as you're get, getting and receiving the shoddy. You finally are up to a full standing position. You, as the recipient, hold it cross your arms and somebody cracks your back <laughs> and then you lovely. exhale you can even slam a beer we did it where we would like slam a beer or take a shot right after yeah. two and we stopped i could two, two things happened one my friend's mom saw us <laughs> and like, thought we were doing shoot? gay sex in her backyard <laughs> like legitimately was like what weird homoerotic ceremony are these two kids doing and then we also stopped because my friend like got done and was like whoa and then fell and hit his head on a potted plate Plan. I was like, that's the end of Rising <laughs> yeah. Shotties, dude. We had a good run. Yeah. I could see, like, getting cracked and then. Right. Like, and yeah. then you're high and loose and. You, you know. just keep the. You keep elevating. Like, you're such a. I, I was such well, a yeah, dumb kid. I, you know, it's how like, many. You know, it's like at first you just drink and then yeah. you got a shotgun and then you got a chug and then you funnel and then yep. you blow and then you. you know, or Green Dragon you, when you soak a fucking quarter of fucking weed into Everclear for like two weeks <laughs> and the, it's, the grain alcohol is super soluble. So you get high from a shot. I did that at a frat party and was like on my game with some girl. Like, <laughs> Rip and roar and just have it like charming her and like all that were around us killing it but i was like i'm not even high i don't feel shit so i went to take another shot took it i don't remember anything 
I came to on their couch at the frat party like six hours later and somebody was like, you know, just in the corner doing Adderall or whatever. And they told me that at one point I just got up, fell over the girl, started laughing for like 20 uninterrupted minutes and everybody emptied out. Like everybody just left. Everybody just, just left the party. The party. <laughs> yeah, that was it. I just, just cooked. Done. <laughs> Dude, I did. I That's was crazy shit. Have you ever heard of that? Soaking the weed? In never. The, never. I never heard of any of the shit yeah. you've done. <laughs> <laughs> fucking squares, man. Yeah. No wonder all your friends are fucking I, dead, dude. Yeah, yeah, man. You guys are nuts. Yeah. 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 I'll back you up on the squatting down. We used to do squat dabs where you would squat oh, yeah. for long enough so when you stand up, you get a head rush. Yes. Yeah. And we would time it with the dab to do it. So that, but then, yeah, people started falling over. You always did it next to a couch. Right? Yeah, that was yeah, like yeah. the safest yeah. way to do it. Yeah. People started falling over. I, I remember over. my buddy, uh, he, we were doing uh, gravity bongs for the first time. And first of all, it was funny because I, I had never done it until I did it with this kid. We did, I think we had like a, a big Gatorade bottle and a bucket. Mm. And that's how we're going about it. And I came back home. We, I spent a weekend with him in Connecticut. Came back and I told one of my friends that I, I was like, oh, I did gravity bongs for the first time. And he, he, like, at, he didn't know what it was about. He went and then told my crew of friends he was like yo clancy went out this weekend he was partying with those guys blah blah blah. he did some crazy shit called galaxy bombs <laughs> and they were like what's a galaxy bomb uh -huh. and then when we all got together the next time they're like yo tell me about galaxy bombs and i was like i don't know <laughs> All right, you tell me it's a galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. It's some sort of drug or ecstasy. When you smoke like, mushrooms, <laughs> <laughs> and then I had, but I had to like, you know, it was, it was, it almost blamed me when I had to be like, oh, you mean gravity bongs? And mm -hmm. they were like, oh, yeah, fuck, yeah. Hell, yeah. Those are. But I remember uh, uh, my buddy didn't have enough, like a lot of weed left, and so we mixed in some tobacco. Oh, and fucking. Was that a split? Oh, did, yeah, right? but taking but it he did a gravity bong oh, with it. Fuck, dude. And he fell over into the bath into oh. the bathtub. <laughs> like, oh, it was like shit. we were doing it in the bathroom. And it was like, ah! Yes. And then, like, feet in the air into the bathtub. The bucket spilled everywhere, and I was like, "This is not worth it." Yeah, I let's had, just smoke the weed. <laughs> I had a mini personal beer. guy because I so I I, oh, had just wi like, well, I had wild insomnia in college, probably from all of the substances I was throwing yeah, it's into not my insomnia. body. It's yeah. fucking cocaine <laughs> and uppers, man. I just couldn't calm down. <laughs> I just couldn't go to sleep. Some weird thing. Couldn't just I had, I had a coffee after 2 p.m. I don't know. Maybe it's that. Uh, so, and I, I'd like, I could go to bed at 6.30 and wake up at 8 a.m. Yeah. I'm up at 8 a.m. every Not single day. Yeah. So I would have like little low, like bong loads ready <laughs> where I'd have an Aquafina bottle into a little bit of a, you know, tub. And yeah. I'd do like 10 gravity oh bongs to start my day. Jeez. <laughs> 10 personal gravity bongs. And then I'd just walk out. And I'm like, let's go to class. <laughs> <laughs> but you're sober now, right? You, I, smoke smoke weed. Weed. I smoke weed. I smoke weed. Yeah, right. I, I haven't drank right. for a little over right. three years. But, but you still, so you're not substanceless. No, that's, no. I do mushrooms. I do weed, and uh, I've I've done acid. It's not like I do it, but I've done acid. <laughs> so. Yeah, <laughs> heroin. That's fine. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Hey, I like yeah. medicine. <laughs> what do you want? You know, I like to uh, I like to increase my empathy and consciousness. And uh, booze was holding me back. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, when you mentioned the talking to the girl and kind of fucking it up, I actually pulled one of one of my favorite moves I've ever pulled this weekend. I was um, I was getting I go out with my parents on Saturday night. And then, like, they kind of turned in fairly late, actually, for them. But, like, and I was like, ah, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do a nightcap. And I just went to this other bar. And I sat down at the bar and mind my own business for a while. And there was just, Your what? Mind, just minding my own business for a uh -huh. while. Like, I really I'm just going to sit in there having, like, an old-fashioned or whatever. And then the girl sitting next to me starts talking to me. And she is primo. Like, she is exactly <laughs> the kind of girl who I would like. Like, she would tat it up, hate me, covered in tattoos, she right? Would Sha shaved me. head, oh, nose nice. ring, oh, yeah. big earring, yeah. straight glass, out of Deadpool. Like, thick glasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. dude yes. like, like, fuck it. And then, like, we That's my we, favorite, like, fake couple of all time. Oh, <laughs> my God. Monica, whatever the hell. Shit. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. God, she's we so were. Hot. And then we're like, we're, just, we're hitting off. She's from, uh, she's from Columbia or something like that. Oh. Like, and it the, is the, just the country, the country. Not yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. she's perfect for you. And and like we're just really hitting off for like probably like a half hour. And then I just knew 
Like I knew I was about to get like I was like I was like well, I'm gonna be drunk soon. Like it's I've mm -hmm. I've drank enough, enough all day, and then I was like I just got knew I wasn't getting any better. I wasn't getting any further with her, and I went, Tina, it's been great, and I walked out, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and no wow. number, no, no nothing. number, no nothing. Not an Instagram, no, <laughs> no nothing. Uh, while no, that absolutely is wildly nothing. stupid. <laughs> that, that's like Barry Sanders retiring <laughs> yeah, early. That's what I was gonna I say. I haven't won anything, but <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. I, I was gonna say from the point of view of like Barry Sanders retiring, left people being like, "Whoa, right. <laughs> what just happened?" Yes, like they're like so baffled by it. That's kind of cool, but it's also like you haven't done it. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mister Mystery Man, yeah, wow. didn't get anything out of it. But <laughs> but Tina, I could see her Tina's being like, be "What the? Fuck? Yeah, she'll be thinking about it for the rest like, of her life." Fuck you! I hope she sees this. <laughs> I, nice. I, I, we're gonna we're gonna where was it? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, it was a bar. It was a bar. It was a bar near Zinc in the East Village. All right, if you were near Zinc, which used to be the Boston Comedy Club. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I never heard of Zinc. We, we, me, and my parents we were just like looking for a bar. We kind of popped in there. It was pretty cool. So somewhere I left. Oh, were left. you solo? I was solo. Oh, yeah. okay. So yeah. it was like they. We left Zinc, and then I left. I went to somewhere very yeah. nearby. Okay, so if you were near Zinc in the East <laughs> Village on Saturday night, Saturday night, on Saturday night, and you had, and you, and you were. I don't know if you if you know this girl or friends or saw it happen or something. We're gonna miss connection Craigslist this shit. No, I don't want. I don't want it. Wait, yeah. I, I want it. I want to see what happens. Bro, I don't want to ruin what I, I had. Too. We had a nice exchange. It was a good night. That was it. I I, I walked yeah, off. Costanza. Dude. I was like, was, yeah, wow. Like, good night. She was laughing. We were talking about like the southern Southern America. We you had like, spiritual sex. Well, yeah. <laughs> you did. You don't even need to fuck her. You're like, yeah, we connected. That's it for me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's like, is that what this is all about, huh? <laughs> is, this, is this emotions, feelings? Is that why you guys do this? Her name, that is her name. Her name is Tina. So I, oh, I thought you were going to say emotions. Honestly, <laughs> I bet we could find a Tina who was in the East Village near Zinc on Saturday night. We're going to find this bitch. Yeah. Somebody's going to fuck her, all right? She, she Pav, somebody's going to fuck this chick. One of us is banging Tina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking right, bro. <laughs> uh, so the special is done? Yeah, it's out. It's out. Com coming out, out yeah. uh, May 18th. So this will be, this is coming out after that, I guess. Uh, May 18th, 9 p.m. That's when it's yeah, live. But like pretty close. Uh, yeah, but uh, Mike Cannon Comedy on YouTube. It's called White Privilege Homeless. It's my second hour uh, <laughs> that I've put up on YouTube. Full hour? Full hour, yeah. I respect yeah. that. I, feel yeah. like, I, I understand a lot of people going shorter. For sure, but I also my last one was a bit shorter because I I, I didn't feel that I was due an hour. Mm -hmm. But right, now I right. feel pretty confident. Yeah. It was all like, and also this is post COVID. I'm not talking COVID, but I'm talking what my family went through, which is I had to live at my in laws for 14 right. months, right. and all that came with that. So it's a super personal hour, but wildly punchy because I just took it on the road. So yeah. I had to. I had to get yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. people in the Midwest to give a shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> About, or people in Florida to like identify with lockdown. <laughs> What are you talking like, uh, about, dude? We were out in April of 2020 <laughs> spitting in each other's assholes. We don't give a fuck about what you say. <laughs> That's good shit, though. And I do, like, I think there should, I'm saying this from my fucking ivory tower of have never, never, never done uh, stand-up comedy. Mm. But I think there's something to, like, an hour that that should almost still be, yeah. like, the standard. And you can do short ones if you want, but I feel like if you, you know. Still want to like leave your mark or whatever? Have yeah. you? I remember Nate Bargatze talking about it, kind of being like, "To me, the hour is always like the thing." Everything, and I can't even imagine having an, an hour. I get why you know, thirty-five minutes is like twenty-five minutes, forty minutes is so much yeah, fucking yeah. jokes yeah. as is. But uh, a full hour is awesome. So Appreciate white privilege, man. homeless. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a big bit on the on the special and also what I was for fourteen months. Yeah, white basically homeless, yeah. homeless in a mansion. Right. <laughs> Still got the hair, man. You got a great hair. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, it. Salt it's, and pepper uh, too. It's a little more pepper than a little more salt it's, and pepper. It's like wildly, that. dude. I shed like I I've kept my head you know pretty tight over the last couple of years just because I've liked it that way. Yeah, and you're then crazy. I, I, I mean, grew if you got this it, back. you still got a fucking. I know. Well, now I'm now I'm getting. I just want to be a dad on Euphoria. I want to like. I want to molest one of the young boys, whether it's in the script or not, and then get the fuck out. And, you know, sell some tickets. But I'll I'll just be like Mike Pence in a gay porno. Like that. That's realistically where I'm headed. Go watch the special. Maybe that should be the next one. Mike Pence in a gay porno. All right. Uh, we'll do it, yeah. Oh, Make sure you yeah. subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content.
uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be fast, so that's it.